what happened to the lady who hated her mother-in-law and why did she hate her mother-in-law alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah my dear respected brothers and sisters and salam assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh every saturday and new story there was a wonderful mother who had only one son she raised her son well she made him well educated she sent him to the university when he graduated from university his mom called him and she said oh my wonderful son right now alhamdulillah you are a man you graduated from university and you have a good job i want to see your kids he said okay mom i have no problem that's a wonderful idea but i have no one in my mind can you look for me a wonderful wife and mom she said definitely i will look for you a wonderful wife wife that deserve you and the son said okay and the mom went to look for a wonderful wife for her wonderful son she found a wonderful wife for her son she met with her and she said oh my daughter you know i have only this son i have no place to go i want you to be also my daughter i don't want you to be like some ladies who hate their mother-in-law and the lady said no inshallah ta'ala i will be like your daughter they were one of the happiest family in the earth until one day some of her friends visited her and they saw how she is serving her mother-in-law and they said wow you are serving your mother-in-law you're not a maid she is only your mother-in-law why are you serving her they start talking about her mother-in-law and she did not respond she started listening to them and she said yes that's my mother-in-law and why i have to serve her she started thinking about that she is really the wife of the house and this is her house and the mother-in-law is only a guest here the next day the lady was totally different she started yelling at her mom mother-in-law not serving her she said i hate you this is my house i cannot be happy uh you involving everything can you please let us go you you took your life your, your time this is our time i want to have time with, with my husband and you here always can you leave us and mother-in-law responded to her and she said okay this is my son too anyways they start hating each other see how bad friends will change your life stay away from bad friends anyways next day she called the bad friends asking advice what can i do and they said go to the pharmacy she went to the pharmacy and she talked to the doctor over there she explained her story to him and she said I need your help and the doctor over there said okay I will give you something poison I want you to give her every day just one drop one drop only and it may take three months but with one condition she said what is the condition he said I want you to be the best daughter in the earth because later on if they investigate they will say how they used to deal each other i want you to be the best daughter for your mother-in-law she said okay i will do that and she took that poison and she started giving her every day one drop she continued giving her mom every day one drop for two months after two months she came back to the pharmacy and she met that doctor 
and she said can you please give me some medicine I love my mother-in-law I don't want her to die and you said after three months she will die and the doctor said what do you mean two months ago she you came to me and you said you hate your mother-in-law and that's why I give you that medicine and she said yes I used to hate it because I was wrong I didn't know she's that nice she's so nice wallahi and I don't want her to die can you please give me some other medicine to reverse this medicine that I'm, I, I used to give her for two months? And the doctor said, listen, my sister, what I gave you was a water, was not a poison. And I knew there was something wrong. Someone has to change his attitude. And I thought that person was you. You need to change your attitude. And remember, that is your mother-in-law. You love your husband, and she gave you your husband. So you need to respect your mother-in-law. She thanked the doctor, and she came to her house, and she kissed her mother-in-law forehead, and she asked her forgiveness, and she promised that she will be the best daughter that is the end of our beautiful story and i just want to mention few things here number one is for the ladies respect your mother-in-law for the sake of allah and deal with her like your real mother because she is the mother of your husband she is the grandmother of your beautiful kids so therefore, respect her even if she does something wrong to you. And number two, to the mothers, deal with your daughter-in-law like your real daughter. You know, she is the wife of your wonderful son and she is the mother of your grandkids. So respect her and deal with her like your daughter even if she does something wrong and number three stay away from the bad friends bad friends they will destroy your life in this earth, in this world and hereafter even our prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam warning us about having a bad friends stay away from the bad friends may allah bless you and the rest i will leave it for you whatever you think write it down jazakumullah khairan barakallah fikum i will see you next saturday with a new story may allah bless you listen benefit from it and share it with your brothers and sisters and your friends may allah bless you jazakumullah khairan barakallah fikum if you like to be protected from everything recite these three surahs morning time three times and in the evening three times alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah my dear respected brothers and sisters in islam assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu today i would like to share with you this short hadith and is very beneficial is authentic hadith it is about three surahs in the quran that we should recite morning time three times and evening time three times also the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said whoever recites these three surahs three times in the morning and three times in the evening they will suffice him means they will protect him from everything and these three surahs are Surah Al-Ikhlas, Qul Huwa Allahu Ahad, three times. Surah Al-Falaq, Qul A'udhu Birab Al-Falaq, three times. And Surah Al-Nas, Qul A'udhu Birab Al-Nas, three times. In the morning, after Salat Al-Fajr, and in the evening, either after Salat Al-Asr, or after Salat Al-Maghrib. See, my dear, how easy it is. So, my advice to you, to recite these three surahs in the morning and in the evening three times each and also share with your brothers and sisters in Islam. Jazakumullah khairan, barakallah fikum. 
May Allah bless you and protect you. Amin. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.